how social business as a model can complement what the government is doing. Because it will lead to a model that is sustainable. That's key. Globally, the world is progressing at a rapid pace. However, thriving capitalism, booming trade and technological advancements has brought along with it a host of social problems. Environmentally, the earth is suffering. Economically, poverty is not evenly distributed and the divide between the haves and the have-nots is widening. To further strengthen and complement capitalism is the concept of social business, as founded and championed by Nobel Peace Prize laureate Professor Muhammad Yunus. The social business movement is today a global initiative. The creation of social business cities such as Quisbaden in Germany, Fukuoka in Japan and Pistoia in Italy have aided in the development and acceleration of social businesses in their respective regions. Here in Malaysia, while still in its infancy, social business is slowly gaining momentum and recognition as stakeholders are looking at a more sustainable manner of doing good. Uh, the main focus of social business basically about addressing social problems okay and then and and bring positive social impact to the society and environment so social business model like any other businesses um, it must have a sustainable uh, sustainable revenue stream to keep the company going um, and the profits of this company should be reinvested into the company for expansion and for empowerment okay if the business is not sustainable how can we sustain the social impact itself okay Social business is not like charity. Um, it's not about giving money and, and distributing uh, rations, but it's actually about getting the beneficiaries to start sustaining themselves uh, financially through business. Okay, I think it's also time for the CSR initiatives to start thinking about doing social business. Mainly, we try to create awareness and a new culture uh, amongst the Malaysian society uh, by way of raising the awareness of the um, urban waste problem mainly so besides that we also address other social problems which is um, inclusiveness we try to get everyone involved into our projects and uh, try to provide employment opportunities and creative empowerment throughout the various facets of society um, Basically, there's three things that we're looking to solve. Um, one is increasing the living standards of uh, rural communities, underprivileged communities, um, starting with the Orang Asli people. Um, two would be bridging the gap between the urban and the rural divide, because a lot of um, Malaysians, or a lot of us, um, have a very, very different sort of lifestyle, and we're here to create awareness. Um, and thirdly is to raise the general skill level of um, not only the youth, but the general population of Malaysians in terms of DIY and construction. We are a collective of different backgrounds of people, people with very, very specialties. Come up with projects and uh, we, we brainstorm and we say we can make something out of these waste materials and then we get them in on the project and we create things together basically. Right, so, so what do we do? Um, we build homes. Um, and how we do it is we, we've designed a building system that allows ordinary people, um, anyone, really anyone, uh, to build a home within three days. Um, and it's not just the building of the homes, but through the activity, um, it's, it's team building, um, it's self-development, it's bridging the gap between uh, the rural and urban. What we call this is upcycling. I think it's a global phenomenon. Uh, we make things out of waste material. From within this dynamic, we've also got um, very communicative people, people with business acumen, and from that on, we are able to get ourselves and acquire projects and commissions and things like this. I would say that we're still very much um, in the starting stages. Um, we still rely um, a lot on the generosity of the public, so people to fund, uh, fundraise, uh, CSR, uh, funding from companies. Um, but at the same time, we're hoping that um, I think the government will also see this as a, a feasible solution in terms of uh, rural housing. Okay, to encourage more Malaysian youth to 
start their own social initiatives. We introduce a platform, we call it Social, uh, social Venture Fund and also Youth Action Grants. It's basically a, uh, a form of financial assistance. Um, if you would like to start your own social initiative, small scale ones, you can actually apply for Youth Action Grants. And if you would like to be more um, serious about uh, starting your own social business, we, hope we also have Social Venture Fund for you. Hi, I'm Rusna from Funding Department of My Harapan. If you would like to know more about uh, Youth Action Grants and Social Venture Fund, you can actually check it out at www.myharapan.org.